So Canberra have finally worked out that in 2013 I got my Maltese citizenship so I could fly to Malta and join the army. Because in Malta, I guess, if they're recruiting, I'm not saying I'd automatically uh, be accepted. It's, it's at their discretion. I could be nothing they want. But there's a very... Historically, there's a very high chance coming from a rather military family to be accepted straight into the army. Nandu was a soldier. I'm sure his father was a soldier. Abel has actually commenced the Maltese army uh, post-World War II. The modern Maltese army. Joe Abela, he put the Maltese army together, obviously with his comrades, but you get the point. Uh, so... I'd probably get in there very easily. And it's true, in, in 2013, that was one of the motivations of getting my Maltese citizenship and becoming a Maltese citizen, so I could go there and join the army there. My motives are that here, there's plenty of good soldiers already, and we're never going to get invaded. We're never going to lose a war or anything like that. And I just don't think that uh, especially after 2014, it would be responsible to join the Defence Force in any capacity. Not that that need me either. God knows what they need. Although some cunts there have wanted me to go to the Navy for a very long time. Not that they're going to get it. They can get their mum's tits in their mouth, but they won't get that. Uh, so, there, there are plenty of fine personnel in the Australian Defence Force that can do that job. But they've finally solved the 10-year-old mystery as to why I got my multi-citizenship. It's true I wanted the citizenship so I could have easy access to Europe, etc. But I can't lie to the Australian public. I did keep it hidden. It is true. I definitely kept it hidden until now. So I'm not going to lie now that it's known. I, the intention in 2013 was to fly straight to Malta and join the army and pretty much stay there so the intention hasn't changed so I, I could do that at any moment I'm still in my early 30s I think the recruitment age in the Maltese army is 49 where the cutoff is so I've got plenty of time and I've got quite a bit of experience that could assist them so and, and I there's only another country in the world that I'd want to defend other than Australia and that's Malta so I, def I definitely did look, did think long term, you know, with everything that went on after 2013. And although I wanted to fucking feed a lot of Maltese to the fish for a, for a, for the time being because of their not disrespect, what's the word? Their capacity to question me. I wanted to fucking, I wanted to go there and drag them into the fucking sea and feed them to piranhas. I was that angry. But, no, that's, that's got nothing to do with Malta itself or the Maltese people. It's just a particular bunch of people I wanted to fucking feed to the fish. But that's long gone. Um, I think if I went there, that would be a good idea. But here's the, here's the twist. Why, should, why I need to make this video in advance. Because if I do go to Malta, it's, it's nice baby. Still a baby face, just still. Maybe in five or ten years I'll start to look like a man. I don't want to look like a grizzly man yet. When I get to Malta, here's the thing. They, the people in Canberra know that if I join the army there, everything will probably go sweet because they don't have any strings to pull in Malta. It's Malta. Uh, <laughs> they've got nothing they can do there. Um, but they'd still try to somehow do something. So their latest theories are if worst scenario happens and I do go to Malta and I do join their army... They'll wait a few years and try to come up with some fucking scandal or come up with something crazy. God knows what they're, what they're going to attempt. But it's pretty stupid because, as per always, my friend in Canberra, who's, uh, I'm not going to say he's Maltese Australian, but you may as well. Um, and I've got a, quite a few friends there. So they've given me the rundown as to what to expect if I go to Malta and join the army and stay there 
they've made me aware, made made it very known that these people will try something as they always have. But the Maltese government, the Maltese people, they're, they're a bit different. They're not stupid. They know, they know that one, the media is generally garbage. Two, Zionists can never be trusted. Three, unless they see it for themselves, it can't be trusted. Four, yeah, you see one, two, and three. So it's 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 just not going to work. Maltese people aren't that stupid. They know it, it, a lot of Maltesers would have inspected the way I've conducted my personal warfare over the years and said, holy fuck, we understand every single thing he's doing and why he's doing it and no one else will. I guess that's what happens when you're raised as a Maltese Australian. It's just the fact of life. So, no, I... Malt is still in my plans. How soon? I don't know. I could go there and... Uh, it's not urgent. I could go there in five or ten years from now and still do what I want to do there in terms of joining the army. I actually find it romantic to just join the army right after I turn 40, 41, 42. It's just after I do all the things I want to do. But I don't know. I might do it the other way around. I haven't decided yet. But what I do know is if I do go there, that that can be expected. It can be very, very much expected that these people would try anything. They would fucking... These clowns from here, Canberra and everywhere, that they'll, they'll allege mental health issues, cards problems, anything. They'll probably allege that I'm a part of a fucking secret clandestine racer, biker, or fucking drug group. Or they'd come up with fucking anything. Maltese aren't that fucking stupid. They know every single thing I've ever fucking said on my YouTube videos or exactly what they infer, at the least, or imply directly. So, it'd be fucking funny. It'd be very, very funny if I go there join the army, get fucking robo-cop, robo-soldier shit, and then they, they try to start something. Oh, fuck. This will be fucking... <laughs> the military officers in Malta. Hey, mate! We've got... You've got a knight and a fella there. <laughs> yes, what about him? Oh, well, we've got some fucking intelligence saying he... Wants to fucking steal your rocket launchers and fucking kidnap your president. Did you see it? What? What do you mean did I see it? Hasn't happened yet. But did you see it? You didn't see it, then you fuck off, you idiot. Beep, beep. That'll be what happens. <laughs>